And I, I, I have an activity for us to do. We are going to do it. But I, I think God is taking me somewhere else. And I'm going to just go with what, what I feel God is, is saying. Desiree, you see me and you know me now how I am. But you didn't. You knew me by beginning of my walk back way back when the kids were little. But you didn't know me before that. And you didn't know me before that. I mean, how could you have? You weren't born yet. But God knew you, he knew me, and people want to judge us from the outside. And you want to judge yourself from the outside. But God doesn't want you to see from the outside. He sees your inside. You see a hurt person. You see a broken person. You see a person who's been abused mentally, physically, everything under the sun. And that's how you see yourself. But you've got to stop seeing yourself like that. So other people won't approach you like that and treat you like that. You begin to see God and give God the faith that's caused, that means that is doing something without seeing it first. It's a substance. It's real. Faith is real. Say faith is real. It is really, really real. I promise you. I know you're barely on starting your walk, but don't give up no matter how hard it gets. But don't see yourself as broken. You're not broken anymore. You're brand new in Christ. He died for you to give you a brand new heart and a brand new spirit and a brand new life. A brand new mom and dad. We will be the best we can to you spiritually and as much as we can. But stop seeing yourself as broken. Yes, you were that little girl that didn't have those hugs and kisses, but you get them now. God, he keeps all your tears that you cried when you were a little girl. He heard your prayers when you were little. Please help me. Get me out of this. Get us out of this. You and Nikki, you cried and tears cried for them when you were little. Please, God, help us. Help us. And he was hearing you. He was really hearing you. Do not let the outside be influenced by your past. That's what it is. It's the past right now. The past is haunting us all. It always comes to seek, to say, remember? No, you say, I don't remember. I refuse to run amok. I refuse to run out there in the streets. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to run for God. If I'm going to cry, I'm going to cry for God. If I'm going to laugh, I'm going to laugh for God. If I'm going to give, I'm going to give for God. For God. And I know, Caden, you got to stop trying to be somebody else. you got to be Caden. Caden made you. God made Caden. And Caden is Caden. Stop trying to be somebody else. Are you going to be in, in high school? Are you going to freshman? Eighth grade? Right now is the time when influence is going to try to come and take who you are away from you. You be who you are. If you laugh funny, who cares how you laugh? That's how you laugh. Don't make people influence to change who you are. And you stay connected with your sister. You stay connected to God. Don't go too far, but always come back. Because God has something inside of you that he wants to change, that he wants to mold, that he wants to create. Because you have a different path and a different walk than your sister did. You might not have it as bad, but you still have it. Because your mom's stuff tries to come to follow you guys. Down and down and down. And what you're going to do is you're going to say this. No, that does not, my past does not dictate, or my mother's life does not dictate what kind of husband I'm going to have. Does not, and it, it, it applies to you too. And your sister. You know what? No, my mother's life. My family's life, it's stopped with them. And with me, it's brand new because I'm walking with a new person and his name is Jesus. We are made righteous in, in, in his, Jesus' way because he died, he was perfect. He never sinned. Can everybody agree here? Somebody say amen. If you agree that Jesus never sinned. Amen. And because he never sinned, he said that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Nothing. Nothing we do, we cannot be saved by works. It is nothing that we can do and give money or give food or clothe the, uh, the homeless and give whatever. We can never, ever earn salvation. Somebody say amen. Amen. Now, I do see that finances, the one of things, because I kept feeling it in my, I can say, my back didn't hurt when I walked.
walked in here. And it could be the atmosphere. It could be what's in the, in the city. It could be what's in the air. One of the things I know with finance is the only way to get up and out is just give. Now, I'm not saying you're going to give out of 10% out of the, for, at the beginning. You're going to give out of what God helps you to give. But I can guarantee you, when you challenge yourself, because faith is a substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things not seen, you might not see it, but you know, um, uh, my pastor, when we were first younger, and the, the Lord, and he used to say, uh, Renee was the right hand, I was the left hand, and he, or he, Renee was the left hand first, and then I was the right hand. He said, don't tell your left hand what your right hand's doing. <laughs> The basket would go around, get it, get it. Don't tell your left hand what your right hand is doing. You get it? <laughs> and, and I mean, even though Pastor Rene might not have gave money at first, he gave like, what are you doing? $500? How could you? I got a $5,000 check. And I said, well, you know what? We didn't have nothing anyways. And God blessed us with this, obviously, with that $50 that we gave. So. I'm like, well, why not? I'm going to just have faith then. And if you don't come, God said that's the only place you could test him at is in finances. And so finances, if you have a financial trouble, the only way out of it is to give. Somebody say give. Give. It's not the most popular subject, but that's why I believe God was saying. And he was saying to be yourself in Christ. Be who you are inside don't let people take away from you because they see your past or because you're a certain race or because you have a certain background or because, you know, whatever it is, you are you. God created you. God is the creator, and he made you who you are. And if people can accept you the way you are, then maybe those are the right people around you. You know, because we all have a silly laugh or a silly walk. We could have more of a sense of humor, maybe. Some of us are more sensitive than others. You know, and but the people who are going to love you are going to accept you the way you are, inside out. And then God is going to get a hold of you to change you. Because sometimes people were, are, are um, prompted to say something, but sometimes they're not. Because God, if we tell you every time, okay, did you know this? Did you know this one? So if I told you every single time something was wrong, how are you going to hear God's voice? You're going to always hear my voice. When something goes wrong or something's happening, Pastor Renee's voice comes in my head. Um, I don't know what it was the other day, and I just remember I hear, heard Renee's voice giving me instruction how to do with that certain situation. And I remember because I heard his voice. Pastor Renee talks to me a lot. That's good because when I was growing up, nobody talked to me. So the other day we were in the store. Okay, we're gonna go back on, remember last time I was telling you that I went into Bath and Body Works with a, with a no attitude? Do you remember this if you were here? I had an attitude and I didn't have just attitude, I had a no attitude. Can I help you? No. You wanna try this? No, 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 everything. I had a bad attitude. Well, guess what? I got to go to Bath and Body Works again. This time I was like, well, where's the person at? She's not even coming to help me. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And this time I had it and I love me. I'm like, so where's the person at? So the girl finally comes and I'm like, I realized something. I'm real aggressive. Sorry, God. I'm real aggressive. So I said, remember what I said a minute ago? If you're going to do it, do it in God. If I'm going to be aggressive, I'm going to be aggressive in God. Why'd you come to church? Come to church. Get saved. You know Jesus? We used to pass out flyers and I used to be the one who always got it. I'll go back to my story in a minute. I would say, hey, do you know Jesus? And everybody would say, here, you want to go to church? I'd say, do you know Jesus? And they'd get, people would get all crazy, crazy with me. I go to church. I said, I didn't ask if you went to church. I said, do you know Jesus? I said, do you know Jesus? Do you need healing? Are you sick? I'm all right. You get, I go to church already. I'm all right. I'm saved already. But I would get it the most because I wasn't saying, oh, here, you want to go to church? which I would invite them if they let us pray for them or whatever. And we try to do it in twos, because that's what the Bible says. And I would say, I didn't save you at the church. I said, do you know Jesus? <laughs> I didn't save you in the church. Hey, you 
know, you could be a person standing in this garage. Are you a car? Just because you stand in this garage don't mean you're a car. Just because you go to church don't mean you're a Christian. It's about, what do we talk about? It's salvation. Believing and confessing. Believing in your heart that Jesus died. He was buried. He rose again. And he's alive. And that, and confessing with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. And you are saved. Salvation. You are made righteous with God. You are right, standing right with God. Because God, do you know, did you know this? Did you know that sin cannot be in the presence of God? So if sin cannot be in the presence of God, and we are still sinners, then we cannot go with God. There's not a place for us. But God said, you know what, I have to make a, mem uh, I have to make a remedy for the people that I love, that I created, I created humanity, so I'm going to love them, I'm going to give them a, I'm going to give them the answer, I'm going to give them the remedy, and the remedy was who? Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus Christ. So back to the story about the while well, I was in Bath and Body Works. You see me walking in there I'm with Esmeralda, where you know, and the girl. And I go. So I have a question for you. Yes, he smiles. <laughs> and I, I realize, oh man, I'm I'm a little hyper here, I'm a little aggressive. I said, do you have apple shampoo, apple wash? No, we don't have apple wash, but we have one that has apple in it. And then uh, she tells the daughter, here, you want to try this lotion? And Esmeralda's like. Yeah. And then she said, oh, we'll try this one too then. So I'm like smiling and she's like smiling. She's like, oh, um, I know it was my atmosphere, not just what I said, but it was my atmosphere that was making her like, like Esmeralda's real calm, real peaceful. I'm real hyper. Renee says, anybody ever gives me coffee, he will punch you down because I don't need coffee. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm not a bad person, and she doesn't know me. I don't know her, but she could feel my atmosphere. I'm hyper. I'm aggressive. Let's get this. I want to get in. I want to get out. She's picking all that up, but she wants to hurry up and get away from me. But as well, the spirit is so calm and peaceful. She wants. She can't help but be, a, a, you know, a, a, you know, attracted to her, you know, spirit. And uh, <laughs> she says, "Please tell them my name is Vanessa," because they get money I guess for every person they help so they have to did anybody help you when you get to the register and then you say their name so make a long story short the girl that was the same girl from the last time that I had an attitude <laughs> so she remembered do you see what I'm saying I made an impression on her and it was so bad she remembered me my attitude left an impression on her but my daughter, thank God for her, had such a great spirit, a peaceful spirit, a sweet spirit, she couldn't resist her spirit. And that's Jesus. He's such a sweet person. He's such a sweet, awesome man. He's, he, he, you cannot resist him. How could you resist him if he asked you to do something for him? He asked you, hey, you know, can you not do that no more? Can you please start doing this? Or, you know, like me, he had to ask me, I need you to sit down every night. You don't have time, he says, no. He says, okay, take 30 minutes out of your sleep time before you go to bed and go read your Bible. I love sleep. I need to sleep. How dare you? Do you know that I started sleeping better after I read the Bible? I started waking up before my alarm because I seen it as giving up time but God said it wasn't giving up time, I was adding time to myself. See, God, in, in, the, in the kingdom of God, we cannot receive into the kingdom of God until we believe, and by faith, that is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen. You're not gonna see it, you're not gonna know it. You're just gonna believe in it, you're just gonna walk in it, you're just gonna do it, somebody say amen. amen. So what I said today is, last time I preached, I noticed that, okay, can anybody tell me what is salvation rooted in? It's a person. Jesus. Salvation is rooted in Jesus because of what he did and who he is. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. So, okay, we're going to do this. If you have a scripture, 
And you're like, because it said in the scripture, um, the many troubles come, the other one said afflictions, many troubles come to the righteous. Who is the righteous? I'm not supposed to say it yet. <laughs> Pastor Rene gave it away. Okay, well, anyways, we'll go. But the Lord will deliver them from their destruction. They deliver them. They had the question, who is them? Who is they? Pastor Rene just said it was us, the believers in Jesus Christ. That scripture is for the believer. But if I wasn't there to tell the person, did you? do you know how you can find out who they is? You read 20 scriptures before, and you read 20 scriptures after. You remember now. See how See how you can know something, but you just forget? Or maybe you didn't know that. I figured, you know, I'm going to come over here and say something that maybe you do know it, maybe you don't know it. Maybe we need to be reminded, or maybe we need to learn for the first time. But give time, you will gain time if you give time. You will gain money if you give money. You will gain faith when you give faith. Everything, God will not leave you barren. If you need peace, he's going to give you a double portion of that peace. Whatever it is. But it starts with this, but it starts on the inside. Not on the outside, but on the inside. It starts with the spirit being reborn. In order to be reborn, it's through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Okay, so what we're going to do is she could do this then everybody can get a, a card then okay except for me don't give me one I don't know if we're even though wait count everybody Desiree because they have to be even okay